I'm going to show you how to color a cryo-EM map by local resolution using Chimera X. Here's the end result we're going to get. So this map uh, has a red. The red part is at 3.5 angstroms resolution. The blue is at 2.5 angstroms resolution. Chimera X doesn't compute this local resolution, so I'm going to use Phoenix to do that. Let me show you the command. Here's the, the Phoenix local resolution command. It takes two masked half maps, maps computed with half of the particles. Um, this took six hours to run for this three angstrom resolution map that has 240 grid points on a side. So let's see how to, how to, uh, how to do this coloring. I'm going to quit Chimera. And we'll open the map. This is a map from the EM data bank, ID 3518. I say open 3518 from EMDB. And I'm going to open the local resolution uh, computed by Phoenix. I'll press the open button on the toolbar. Let's find that file. Okay, it showed a contour surface of this local resolution in yellow. If you look at the histogram down below, above it, it says the range of values is 2.5 to 10. So that's the range of resolutions that it computed at different points in the map, 2.5 angstroms to 10. Uh, we want to color using that. And so I'm going to use a tool called Surface Color. I go to the menu Tools, Volume Data, Surface Color. This tool is only in Chimera X versions newer than March of 2021. So it's not in Chimera X 1.1. All right, so uh, the surface color panel appeared at the bottom here. It says color by radius. Let me change radius to volume data value. We're going to color it according to the local resolution value. Say using the local resolution map. And I press the color button. Uh, let me hide the yellow the local resolution uh, contour surface in the model panel. Okay, uh, first it's colored red at low resolution. I would prefer blue. So I'm gonna click this little options button. And under the options, there's this reverse button, which will reverse the coloring. So blue will be the low resolution, red the high resolution. And I'm gonna change the values. Uh, it, it used the full range of resolution values shown on the map here. Um, I'm going to instead make it 2.5 angstroms for blue, 3 angstroms for white, 3.5 for red. I press the color button. Okay. I, let me hide the options now by clicking the options button. And um, I'd like to show a color key. This little key button will do that. It brings up a panel to uh, adjust how the color key is shown, the font size, and things like that. I'm not going to change those, but I can just drag a box with the mouse to make the color key bigger. So I'm just going to drag with the mouse here to make the color key a little bit bigger. I'll dismiss this panel for the color key settings. I don't want to change any of those. And uh, let me make this look a little more, a little more beautiful. Um, I'm going to change the lighting to be the soft lighting. And one other thing, the recommended contour level is a little bit lower for this map. I saw this on the EMDB website. It, it recommended 0, uh, 0.06 as the contour level. I said that was at two and a half standard deviations. Um, all right, and maybe I'll make the background color white if I wanted to save an image. And I could save the image by clicking the snapshot button on the toolbar that just dropped the image uh, dropped the image on my desktop here's what it looks like okay so if you do not have the uh, surface color panel you can still do it uh, do this in Chimera X 1.1 which is older uh, using the command equivalent command and the panel, when I press the color button, it, it logged a command, the equivalent command. Here it is. It says color sample, blah, blah, blah. Uh, if I click this link, color sample, it will give me documentation. All of the, those links in the log um, bring up documentation, so detailed documentation on the command. Let's, um, let's do the coloring by command just so you can see what that looks like. First, I'm going to go to the um, surface color 
dialog and say press the uncolor button. So we'll start with no coloring. And then the command uh, is color sample number one. Okay, number one is the ID of my, my map. Um, using map number two, the local resolution map. And then I um, specify the pal color palette. I'll say 2.5 comma is blue, then a colon three is white, and 3.5 is red. Okay, so that's the command way to issue the, to get the coloring. Thanks for listening.